Technology. Um, you've said uh, before that, I mean, technology is essentially destroying the game. Very much so. Why do you believe that? Well, we need technology amongst the amateurs, the weekend golfers. There should be no limit with them. Let them use what they like. Because these are the people we're enticing to play the game of golf, and rounds are going down. Now we come out with a ball that goes 50 yards further than when I played, and 80 yards further than when Bobby Jones played. You put Jack Nicklaus and Bobby Watson together in their prime, same distance. Same club, same ball. So now all these clubs are changing. Do you know how much money the world has spent on changing their golf courses in the <laughs> last 20 years? Oh, Hundreds right. of millions of right. dollars. If we took that $200 million and put it into the youth to improve golf and get more people playing and golf programs, how healthy would golf be right now? Unbelievable. Why do you have to change these beautiful golf courses that exist? They're even changing St. Andrews, the home of golf, unnecessarily so. Just cut the ball back for the pros. It costs a mere pittance. If you cut the back, you might have titlers say, well, we have the best ball in the market. We're not prepared to cut it back. Callaway say, we have the best ball. And let me tell you, there's, there's no, well, it's not allowed to be a difference of golf balls in distance on the tour because they're all regulated. They, they go through a testing machine. The one who sells the most is the one who does the best marketing and has the best money and the most money for marketing. So if they cut the ball back, it's not going to affect their sales whatsoever. And then it'll bring golf back to where it has to be, where you don't spend. Look at Augusta. Can you imagine what Augusta spent to change their golf course? It wasn't necessary. Just cut the ball back for the pros. And the pros wouldn't complain about it. They wouldn't complain. They'd want to see the golf be better for everybody concerned. To, to what extent do you think that's what's most responsible for the decline in the sport? Well, first of all, when you make a golf course 600 yards longer, as I mentioned to you today before we started our interview, any young man of your age, you'll remember what this interview one day, there are going to be fights about water in the United States of America. Never mind other countries that virtually have no water. America going to have no water. So the water, when you build the golf course longer, you need way more water. You need way more fertilizer. I'm a farmer. I know what I'm talking about. Fertilizer is detrimental to the soil over a length of time. You want to use normal compost, normal manure to put in your lands, but nobody can afford to do that, so they put in compost, artificial, I mean, fertilizer. Then you've got machinery. Do you know what machines cost for a golf course, the amount of money that's spent? Now they change the golf courses, undulating greens, bunkers in front of the greens, making it long. So all this amount of money. Then the members resign because the course is too tough. You've changed my beautiful golf course I had. Then what happens? They don't have the membership. Now they levy you. So it's one thing on another. It's compounded. And so many people are not playing now. It's a tragedy that there are people there. And I love the USJ. And I love the RNA. And I love the PGA. But can't they see this? And this will be on tape in years to come. Well, people will say, Gary Player was right. They will change that golf ball. They will have to, because you haven't had a LeBron James play golf yet or a Michael Jordan on the tour, and they'll hit it 450 yards. And when I mentioned 10 years ago, 15 years ago, players will be hitting the ball 400 yards, they scoffed at me. Impossible. They couldn't visualize this. Well, at our charitable day near Augusta this year, we had Jamie Sadlowski Sedl hit 10 drive all over 400 yards. You're going to find men. We never had these men come out, man. Yeah. You ever see this long driving competition they built like Tarzan? We haven't had them come out yet. 